Welcome to Mastery and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo 2D Measurement in Parasternal Window Today we are going to talk uh, measurement on 2D measurement on parasternal long axis and short axis First on long axis For measurement we have two, three type of measurement Left ventricular and walls Mitral valve movement and aortic cusp and aortic root LVOT and left atrium. Let's go one by one. First, left ventricular and wall uh, wall thickness. F first of all, we have to get good image uh, that's completely left ventricular is not off axis. How you know it is not off axis is that first third of the basal third of the left ventricular is rectangular septum ivs and posterior are almost parallel and la uh, apex is open and not uh, closing and you will see aortic cast cooptation or closing at the midline and both mitral valve leaflet in uh, when you have such things of image you freeze it and move it uh, cine loop until first endiastolic correspond with the q or r one frame before closing here of mitral valve so this spot is the best for me for measurement and look at the 2d on the left ventricle and make sure it corresponds the largest for this this spot is the best or a little go back to the R almost and then we go measure any spot uh, one third basal at the, from here to here we start any those spot at this distance to this distance and perpendicular our measurement should be perpendicular to this boat except uh, wall and left uh, left ventricular long axis first we go for the uh, IVSD don't measure close to the uh, uh, end of the basal basal of uh, IVS because it's teeny go a little far and measure don't include this trabuculation and corda tendine just measure exactly endocardium we start here and then we have to be perpendicular to the wall almost this angle then you have to this is your IVS diastolic then you measure here if you notice there are trabuculation this part so my real endocardium is if you are not sure running the uh, 2D lets and go cine loop and you will see this is come out and separate from the real myocardium and that in that case you know this is corda tendine or trabuculation a little or even papillary muscle tip of the papillary muscle then you measure post, this is IVST and diastolic and then you measure posterior wall thickness as general rules both of them usually should be the same if you have too much differences between more than one millimeter differences between make sure and look at the other part of the wall that you are not overestimating or underestimating any of those because usually at that part of the heart wall are symmetric only otherwise if the patient has asymmetric hypertrophy or wall thickness that is different story and even if still you are suspicious about that go to the uh, short axis and see at the level of the tip of the mitral valve or papillary muscle and you will see if it's still on those image you have asymmetric wall or not after you finish this systolic you finished uh, go to the systolic just so you loop the same pulse go back go forward until get shortest uh, left ventricular diameter uh, one uh, one clip before opening mitral valve one frame one frame before opening here and you will see notice the smallest here and uh, thickest uh, walls 
so in, when you found it again follow that rules uh, don't include trabeculation all those stuff and go far from their uh, aortic root a little far and then find the endocardium at that level then measure all those three parameter uh, for left ventricular and walls when you finish it here uh, when you finish this study left ventricular we go for the uh, mitral valve to the image Usually on 2D image, we don't measure any things on mitral valve, only if we have MVP uh, in some uh, specialty uh, hospital or clinic. If the patient have MVP or other problem, we do some measurement. This is out of this lecture. I am not going to uh, talk about that. Then for the aortic root, you go to the mid-systolic or maximum uh, dimension uh, of the LVOT. And in that case, almost correspond with the uh, T wave, almost, and uh, aortic, aortic valve and cusp are completely open. Find with eyeballing, find the best spot you see and clear uh, LVOT and aortic root. So in the generally in the people they don't have any valvular problem or LVOT problem. LVOT is the same as aortic root almost. So if you go measurement here LVOT right before aortic root here is LVOT and then I measure perpendicular to the LVOT to direction, LV, LVO uh, outflow tract here, perpendicular almost. If you notice, this is my line of the tract and blood go this way. So I try get it perpendicular. In this case, is almost inner to inner, point uh, 2.3, and aortic root. If you uh, do it exactly. Here, that is aortic root, the way that the cusp connects to the wall of aorta, then you measure that spot exactly the same, 2.3 in this case. Then if you need it ascending aorta, you have to show it, you have to heel, heel toe with man, heel toe maneuver or slide the probe to the right shoulder of patient then show completely largest diameter of the aorta and then measure ascending aorta inner to inner but in pediatric group they have uh, the uh, pediatric uh, pediatric american heart association for pediatric they have different measurement outer to inner dependent what that measurement are going is going to use uh, if it's that surgeon or non-surgeon, the technique for measurement will be a little different. Some places they just want you measure inner to inner or outer to inner. Depending on which place you're working, just you have to follow their protocol and rules. Then we go for the left atrium, short access dimension. Uh, you have to go and use cine loop and find it. Uh, end systolic again correspond with the almost end of the T before opening and then you measure it perpendicular to the both wall of the left atrium that is this way here if you are not sure border is this one or here just seen a loop sometimes it's side loop artifact or other structure come out is not real just uh, let it run and see exactly where is that in that case as you notice here if I go cine loop here I know my pressure is here not here 
because I noticed that is some artifact come out and this this is my in, uh, uh, internal wall of the uh, left atrium and for uh, RVOT sometime we can measure if we have good image RVOT we can measure RVOT for here we go for endiastolic and and the diastolic when you have in diastolic here you measure it forest spot of the free wall here as you see and almost perpendicular to the septum IVSD so that is your measurement if I am a little overestimating uh, little go here there you go and then measure the same spot that you measure for uh, for the left ventricular. Uh, then we go for the short uh, measurement to the on short axis. All those measurement we can do if we don't have good image for the uh, uh, for the long axis. We can do it on short axis. Just you have to have good image. As long as you have good image, you can do do all those not only on those image but you can add one more image and that is RVOT uh, 2 we have two measurement or with RVOT 1 that we can use on plaques and uh, in the PZX we can measure two spot of the RVOT 1 uh, RVOT at the level of 12 o'clock if you freeze it and aortic valve Mestis Benson is the, at the center, you at the uh, systolic point, you measure it at systolic point maximum here. And then you measure at the, here at 12 o'clock, you measure at 12 o'clock. That is end systolic and end diastolic. That is end diastolic almost. You measure it at 12 o'clock, exactly at the center, at the midline, here, inner to outer of the aorta here. Almost the same 3.7, 3.8. Both of them are the same. That is exactly correspond with the RVOT we measured on the plaques. And the next one, you measure at the level of the pulmonary valve so you measure here but you have to know exactly at the root of pulmonary valves uh, you know exactly where is that if you don't see it we can angle it fan it and make sure even put color and find out the border and then uh, go for measurement of the uh, RVOT2 on here as you notice uh, here is the best spot for measuring let me go here is my if you notice pulmonary valve well, I am going here there you go and then measure perpen sorry my machine a little and uh -huh. and then you measure it perpendicular to that at the level of the pulmonary valve perpendicular to the wall and here is my RVOT2 then you can measure aortic root at the same image if you need it at mid systolic you go and when is aortic valve open here you see open maximum and you measure it inner to inner in this case you can measure both of them are the same uh, it can be aortic root or aortic cost separation in case because all of them almost a little aortic cost separation ACS will be a little of course less than uh, aortic root here we have aortic root 2.6 2.6 yes and then aortic cast if you need it aortic cast uh, at the mid systolic 
Then <coughs> if you want to measure left atrium axis, short axis, in, you go end systolic right after uh, close to the end of the uh, T wave. Here is largest one. Then you measure perpendicular to the boat wall, inner to inner, again here to here. And is, is the same as you measure almost and actually this view is more accurate from the plaques then you go you can do it uh, the same measurement for the left ventricular and wall motion you go for the uh, papillary muscle level or tip of the mitral valve here is my uh, let me bring it up here is your mitral valve level as you see here but you can go to the tip of the mitral valve here this tip of the mitral valve because you don't see all of the leaflets you see part of that this is tip of i can do measure here is clear as long as you have have clear wall and endocardium and border is clear you know where you are going to put then you see in a loop you first measure on the end of the leg just go back and forth and make sure where is the correct border when you are sure where is the correct border you determine that spot then go end diastolic and then measure all those uh, parameters that you need for the uh, LV wall and LVOT just look at here with going back and forth I, uh, I do um, I make sure that I am not measuring this papillary or corda tendini muscle or here and even here too so just make sure when you with sinew loop make make sure you are measuring correct spot and here i measure let me put it here and this is my septum then uh, after that i can measure it perpendicular at the center of the left ventricular LV, uh, lvid diastolic and then i measure it uh, from their posterior wall perpendicular to the wall, almost this line. Or oh, even here, this one is not differences too much. That is your measuring 2D on PZAX.